Hey there. As you can tell by the lack of chat right next to my face, this is not being recorded live. The reason? Because some of the people who watch me live are not TikTok viewers. You are a TikTok-er. Is that the parlance? I don't really know. Um, I've gotten a lot of subs over the past week, and a lot of them are from TikTok. I mean, a lot of them. And I've started to see them popping up in my comments. You know, I, I, I can tell because... I know what a normal YouTube comment looks like. And then you have like the weird TikTok, like the emojis, like I see him doing it. I run to the end or so, like you, you have like this weird code of language. I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. OK, um, I want to talk really quickly, I guess, to that particular like side of my audience. I know a lot of you only heard about me over the past week, um, largely in response to that video that went viral of me talking about um, the uh, the reason why black people commit more crime in the U.S., or one of the reasons why, the over-policing of black communities leading to an increase in the arrest rate, which leads to cyclical poverty, and so on. Um, hi, my name is Vosh. I do debates on YouTube. I cover a wide variety of political and social topics, pretty much at my discretion. I have no set schedules, and I do whatever I want. I think it's best that way. Keep that personal element, you know? I've only been on YouTube for about a year and a half. I've grown pretty fast. Up until this point, get on the ground floor while you can. I don't know much about TikTok. I know it has a horrible search feature because every once in a while I see, I try to see what the, you know, the, the discourse is up to on TikTok. And I can't, um, I, I can't search by new. Like if I search Vosh on TikTok, it shows me anything. It could be like a video from four months ago at the top. There's no organization. It's not sorted by popularity or so. It's just like random. I don't get it. I don't know if I'm missing a button or something, but I, I don't know. I don't get TikTok. I really don't. But, and, and, and I don't post on TikTok either. Um, but then that clip went viral and now I'm forced to pay attention to that app. And I had only thought of that app as something the Zoomers, the hip and happening kids, you know, get on about. And for the most part, it is that. But there is a growing wing of political TikTok. And I have... Um, encountered it to some extent now and with uh nick videos debate on the 26th i guess i'll be encountering it some more maybe i'll engage more with that side of tiktok i like engaging with uh i don't know a young audience I, I think that's nice i don't think it's a bad thing to have a younger audience um in comparison to like you hip and fresh kids i'm pretty old i'm 26 years old you know i mean that's young by anyone's definition but i went on a zoom call last night and everyone there was like 15 oh that's just uh, do I have any like gray hairs? I don't really know. Here's what I'm going to say. To those of you who are new to my community, first of all, TikTok is a terrible platform for political discussion. That's why I like to do what I do. Now, debates aren't the best way to suss out the legitimacy of a political idea either, unless it's being done in a very controlled format. But let's be real here, okay? Political discourse online, political discourse everywhere outside of universities is still at like a knuckle-dragging level of simplicity. The conversations online about gender are like still Apache helicopter jokes. The conversations online about immigrants are still about whether or not like murder gangs in El Paso and MS-13 vigilantes are coming to rape your white wife today. Like, there's no nuance here. There's no subtlety. There's no actual meaningful discourse. It's just shit-flinging. And I love shit-flinging. But I can get to the meaningful discourse when I want to. All the arguments I make, I back up with citations. I have a research document that I haven't updated in a while, but I was working on five minutes before starting this recording and will continue to work on afterwards because none of my radical leftist arguments, well, not all of them, are pulled from the ether. They're all pulled from data. Conservatism is the willful ignorance of data. Though I will admit, from my experience, some of those conservative TikTok debaters are significantly more talented at debate and more intelligent than the older, more entrenched political skeptic community here on YouTube. People like Sargon of Akkad or Styx Hexenhammer or fucking uh, Razor Fist or the Rageaholic, I think is the actual channel name, or, or, v, or any of these people, these people are legitimately like way worse. Um, at discourse than a lot of these like 15 year old like flossing little fucking conservative Ben Shapiro wannabes they see on TikTok and that's cool I mean children are scary I guess so we'll see how that goes 
TikTok is a terrible platform for political discourse because the nature of the platform eradicates any potential for meaningful, intellectual, like deep engagement. You could make that same criticism of YouTube because it's not the same as like academic paper writing, but I try to hold myself to a reasonable bar for the platform that I'm on. I'm not going to make TikTok videos, but I might make videos about and with TikTokers. Tick, tick, is that the term? I don't know. Um, because, um, man, conservatism is always going to win out on platforms where the only arguments you can make are the ones that could be understood by a child. Conservatism will always win in that sphere. Simplicity, um, the, the just world fallacy, the, um, the, the just like a reductive assumption that something that is is something that must be. These are very easy to distill into a TikTok format where you dance and then you point at a thing. You go like, uh, d -d -d ding, socialism. D -d 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 Ding, doesn't ding, 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 work and then you like fla like flash like Stalin on screen or something like like it's always going to default to that but <laughs> that's just the nature of the platform I guess um if you're here from TikTok this is all I really got to say first of all uh welcome to this hell site from your hell site you've probably been on YouTube before this so I'm not exactly an introduction to YouTube but welcome to my particular channel on this hell site um if you're interested in what I do I have a Twitter my Twitter followers have also blown up, so I assume you're there as well. Um, I also have a website, vosh.gg, and that's where the actual that's where the actual website chat pops up, not the fucking YouTube chat. I'm not on Twitch. Uh, I got permanently banned from Twitch. I'm very edgy, you know. Um, and yeah, anyway, hey, uh, 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 good luck with your crazy TikTok shit, okay? Um, and I'll, I guess, do my best to supplement my content with stuff that meets the interests of this new demographic that I've found. And for all the TikTok Zoomers who have found my content and find something appreciable here, I sincerely hope you take an interest, not just in politics, but in engaging with politics and challenging the people around you whose ideas are dumb or harmful. Because getting young people invested in that is literally <laughs> the bedrock of improving uh, a country, or I guess the world. So yeah, thank you.